throughout the island, we have a world-class collection of early Christian crosses. Mackle Churchyard contains some of the finest examples, and the person credited with saving them was one Mr. P. M. C. Kermo. Marinda can tell us some more about him. Philip Moore Callow Kermode belonged to a remarkable generation of Manxmen, scholars, artists, designers, and literary figures who in the late 19th and early 20th centuries made an impact not only on the Manx nation, but also on the British Isles as a whole. His contemporaries included Hall Kane and Archibald Knox. Philip Kermode, the son of a distinguished Manx and Mackled clergyman, Reverend William Kermode, was a pioneer of Manx archaeology founding the Alaman Natural History and Antiquarian Society and becoming the first director of the Bronx Museum. He's best known for his untiring work and pioneering efforts on the Manx Crosses. A life study, locating them, conserving them, rehousing them and publishing them in 1907 with his own research on the art and inscriptions. Detailed drawings which are valuable today as a source of study along with Kermode's original casts of the crosses. PMC Kermode was responsible for the erection of the cross house at Mackle Church, designed by Armitage Rigby, to house the crosses located in this parish. Before his efforts, many of the crosses were neglected or had been used for building purposes. Kermode recognised their value, and today they are national art monuments. He was also responsible for conducting the archaeological survey of all the keel sites on the island, some 200 early Christian medieval chapels, a massive task. In our parish, he excavated the Neolithic tomb at Balafel, opposite the Baker burial ground. Philip Kermo designed the National War Memorial at Timbald and the War Memorial in Ramsey, where he practiced law and sat on the town board for a time, and where a plaque on Kermode House as the opticians commemorates his place of birth. His tombstone at Mackled commemorates his love of the natural world as well as the crosses and includes birds and Celtic interlacing and the words, he prayeth best, who loveth best, all things great and small.